Hey, what's up guys? This is Jordi from Yapper Design and welcome to our tutorial of the strobe effect. So the strobe effect is known from our video Yamakami and uh, let me just show you what I actually mean with the strobe effect. So this is the strobe effect. Um, so uh, in our video the person is jumping okay, and in the air he actually leaves himself in the air a couple of times, three times actually. Uh, so how are we going to make something like that? Well, it's actually very easy. Uh, we're just going to mask the person out. We're going to stretch the time and we're going to position our layers. OK, um, I'm going to show you this with uh, some other footage. I've got this uh, running arc right here. Um, let me just show you some running arc. <laughs> uh, by the way, I'm going to learn you how to make something like this. Uh, in our upcoming video, which will be a uh, World of Warcraft animation video, um, and there will be some tutorials with it. Uh, but first of all, we're going to stick to the strobe effect. So what we're going to do is, uh, first of all, we're going to choose um, a position in time. So let's say this position. Now we uh, have to cut this video. So right here in the position, we want uh, one strobe or one still frame of that character. Okay, we do this by uh, pressing on your keyboard Shift Control D, and for the Mac users, we do Shift Command D. All right, then we go one frame in time, one frame forward, and we do the same. We do uh, Shift Control D, or for the Mac users, Shift Command D. Okay, then we're gonna take that one frame, we're gonna right click on it, and we say Time time stretch. And if you click on time stretch this window will appear and we can stretch it with a percent so a stretch factor. Uh, let's say the maximum 9900 which, which is the maximum so this still frame is now um, over the overall footage. Okay. Um, now we're gonna mask him out okay? because we don't want the background to overlap the actual footage. Uh, so we start masking him by using this pen tool, okay? So you just mask him out. I'm just going to do this very quickly. Um, by the way, if you uh, scroll with your mouse, uh, you can zoom in. And if you press the H on your uh, keyboard, you can drag the video around. And if you press G again, you've got your pen tool, okay? Uh, so I'm just going to mask him very fast out. There we go. <laughs> He's masked. <laughs> so um, we just move our still frame one position up. So this layer goes one position up. And there we go, we got our one still frame. Okay, it's just very ugly, <laughs> as you see. Um, but of course, we got some problems. Okay. Uh, as you see, this is all black. So what we have to do is uh, we have to take this layer again. We have to duplicate it. We do this by uh, pressing Control D, or for the Mac users, Command D. Okay, so we've got this uh, same frame, and we open this up, and we're gonna delete our mask, so because we don't need that mask. But we're gonna move this one beneath our actual footage. So let me just rename everything. So the beneath layer is actually just running. So it's actually this is the main footage. Okay, uh, then we've got uh, this one, which is uh, the beneath one, so which is the uh, background of the still frame. Okay, uh, the upper is the still frame, and the uh, layer beneath that is again the main footage. Okay. And you can do that again if you go a little bit further in time. But I was a little smart. Yeah, oh yeah, I was smart. And I already did it for you. So I'm going to open up my final composition. Okay, this is the same. I masked it out a bit, little better. <laughs> uh, so uh, this is what it actually looks like. I've got them two times. Okay. Um, so the mask, so uh, this one is the first frame, as you see, so I masked him out. Uh, beneath that, uh, this one is the main footage, so that's the guy running behind him right now. Then we got that uh, background of the first frame to um, 
so we don't have that uh, black area right here. Uh, and then we just have the same for another frame. So the second frame, the main footage again, so the guy which is running behind him, a background, and uh, that's it. So uh, that's it actually, very easy. Now if you want uh, to create some nice effects with this, um, you can just lower the opacity for example. So if I select my first frame, I press the O, that was wrong, I meant Command O or Control O, no that's not good. Okay, let me just open up, okay this was a little up to see, come on. Okay, so just open up this little arrow uh, right here. That will bring up some uh, properties. Um, in the transform property, we can change the opacity. Let's say to 70%. Isn't that looking great? Look at that, it just leaves himself a little ghostly. Yeah, oh yeah. Uh, we can also animate this, by the way. In the end, uh, where the... Um, still frame has to drop away you can animate the opacity of that so i'm going to take my second frame for example and i'm going to change my transform opacity i'm going to set a stopwatch so a keyframe right here go a bit further in time we're going to say zero for the opacity right there it will make another keyframe but well, that's all basic stuff uh, of course uh, i'm going to play it and we'll zoom out okay <laughs> so that's it um, I hope you guys learned something out of this tutorial. Uh, so it's about masking, about time stretching and about positioning your layers. Because uh, if these positions uh, positions aren't correct, so if we take this one and we're going to move it up here, you see one is a go, uh, your second frame is gone. Okay, So the positions of these layers are very important. Okay, so you just need to play a bit with it and, and you'll get the hang of it. Okay, thank you for watching. This was Jordi from Yepper Design. And certainly check out our website at yepperdesign.com. Uh, check out our blog. Um, you can ask uh, many problems you got with uh, After Effects Premiere Pro, any other video, audio or photo stuff. Uh, you can also request tutorials. Um, okay, just check it out and thank you for watching.